Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? And welcome back to Venom Week. Now what Venom Week is, is something I made up. I thought I had an idea. <coughs> and I did. Uh, Cause I saw this couple movies with the name Venom in it. And John and I went to see Venom Saturday. And I figured I'd have like, uh, movies with Venom in the title or related to the comic book character Venom or the band Venom. Any Venom related videos. And I'm here with another film review, and uh, this was just uploaded on YouTube a couple months ago, and I never heard of this movie. I had a couple different titles. I want to thank Tim Sands for making me the thumbnail. In the thumbnail, he tinted me blue, and there was like scenes that were like tinted blue and bluish green. So I, I mean, I don't know if he was psychic on doing it like that, but it was really cool. And the movie on Ven on uh, YouTube is called Venom: Legend uh, Legend of Spider Force. Now it's also known as Spider Venom. And then if you watch the movie, it just says Venom. And this is a one very unusual film. Uh, it takes It's a British film, but it takes place in, in Germany, I guess, when you see a German countryside. And I, that's a very physical with the performances. I have, like, the actors climbing up and down steep, steep hills, uh, running through the woods, driving through the woods, fighting in this, uh, he said it was a lake. It was some muddy thing. It was filthy dirty. Uh, bog or something like that and it I mean they had uh, I don't know how much if anyone get slipped or got hurt or anything like that it looked like they probably would I mean that one thing he was chasing this girl up this hill that thing was so steep I met a director saying uh, we have to film that again I said no we ain't <laughs> it's enough for me well but I mean well, I was much younger he was much younger that'd probably be tough to go up but if you have to see the movie to know what I'm talking about and both were this guy saying this German uh, hotel. He's a photographer. And he finds this girl uh, that has like a dragon scar. And they said, I mean, it's, it's, she's known as the spider goddess. And the legend is anytime she, the guy touches her, they fall and they die through a spider, a poisonous spider bite. And this guy uh, films her, takes a photo, and then. Uh, they retrieve the camera and uh, the photos are gone. I mean, because it's really strange because she's really mysterious and then she's like kind of weird and leaf and going like that. And the other people in the village are trying to stop them from finding more out about this. There's some secret in the town. I don't want to give away. If I give away, you'll say, yeah, no way, man. You're BSing me. And I said, no, but no spoilers on these videos. It's just, it gets more bizarre. Even if I explain the whole thing, it's very bizarre. Um, and these, uh, this family's after him. They keep him quiet. And there's a scene where, uh, that guy goes after the girl with the spider tattoo, uh, or spider, um, scar. His name's Johan, and then he's like the villain in the movie. And then him and the guy gets in a fight. And, uh, you know, the guy and girl run away. And then later on, they, you see him in a... Uh, walking down the forest, and she's like, "Well, anyone who touches me dies." Says, "Pointing the spider bite," and then she she grabs the spider. She says, "Not this time, you." And all of a sudden, you hear this laughing, and then Johan and his henchmen jump down from trees to beat the guy up. They don't jump down from trees only in the like, goofy kung fu movies. This is one very bizarre film. I never heard of it before. It's directed by the same guy who did uh, a couple of years later directed. Uh, to the Devil a Daughter, which is a pretty good movie, but I mean, this is really, really bizarre film. Um, when I say bizarre, I don't mean it in a bad way, but it's just, it's just so, it's just so out there. But I give, I mean, the last twenty minutes are so goofy. I mean, I have to applaud it for being goofy. Um, it's you know, it's definitely worth if you want to see a weird movie, uh, definitely check it out. It's, there's not, there are spiders in it, but not as much as you might think. Uh, there's definitely nudity in it. It's an R-rated film. I assume it's R-rated, but it's kind of weird how they were rating movies back then in the early 70s. This was 71. I remember they had that one, uh, Hammer had that one Dracula movie. They had blood all over the place. I, well, I remember watching my buddy uh, Scone in uh, the Army. I ran it from the library thing. All of a sudden it said they had a rating rated G. It's like me and him looked at each other. How in the hell is that rated G? There's blood all over the place. I was shocked. You know, but I mean, this one's really, I mean, it's uh, very goofy, but entertaining. I give it a 
8 out of 10. I was going to give it a 7 out of 10, but it's just so goofy enough to give me to give it an 8 out of 10. And I do like the way it was filmed by me. It's just, I, I, I enjoyed it, but it's just so strange. It's very strange, but I did enjoy it. So I hope you like this movie review, everybody. Until next time, please, take care of my legion.